now since we installed visual studio let me talk about how we can create our first program in visual studio okay so let me open my visual studio okay so i'll install visual studio 2017 it will take a while to open visual studio so okay so it is open and this is my uh, home page okay so here you can see uh, the recent projects if you have any recent projects over here if you are you are already working and if you have developed any recent projects you can see that now how do i have to create our first project okay so if you go to file and new okay and you can find one option for create project okay sorry okay so here you can find a uh, few things like uh, i have installed dot uh, net framework development uh, application like that there are there are various modes uh, for which you can install you can install it uh, which will support your python or javascripts like that there are many options so i have installed my uh, visual studio which will support dot net framework okay so uh, that's the reason i am seeing only three options but if you install the complete bundle you may see more options over here okay so what and all option i have i have option to start with visual c sharp i have for visual basic and other thing so i'll be i'll be using this visual c sharp okay and here you can find um, many type of application is it wpf app it is windows form is it a console app or it is just a class library okay so all these are the various things uh, is it a application is it a desktop application is it just a console application or is it just a console lab uh, is it just the library or just the uh, library which can be referred by some other programs something like that okay so you can select based on your need okay so normally we will be selecting as a part of our this uh, special execution task we will be using this uh, console app okay uh, so let us see how we can use it okay and in few few of the scenario we might be using class libraries okay wherever uh, we have some reusable code and like we want to create some reusable code which which can be referenced by multiple libraries so we will be using this class libraries but let us talk about this class library later on for now i am using this console app okay console is nothing but just your command prompt okay so if you go to your start and just type cmd it will open your command prompt right here you can find your command prompt so this console is nothing but just as same as your command prompt okay you will see that in some time so i i want to create this console app for visual c sharp and here what is name of your project okay my project name is let us say demo project where this project should get stored the, the default location format is coming as c users also sources and repos that's fine i i will leave it as it is if you want to change it go ahead click on browse and select the required repository where you want to uh, save it okay and the solution solution name now what is the difference in between this project name and solution name so solution is something you can call it as a let us say like you may have multiple projects within a same solution okay so if you talk about uh, uh, some organizations level okay say so so this is not specific to now uh, what we will be dealing like for our esct and uh, custom solutions we do we do not need to worry about this solution name project name and all those things but just at a high level your solution let us assume the situation where you have a very big uh, c sharp development project okay so that big c sharp development project is your solution name whereas in that big big project you will be having small small chunk of works okay so all those small small chunk of work will be your projects okay like you, you can just consider likewise okay so 
my project is demo project and my solution i will keep it as a demo project itself if you want you can change it okay and what should be your framework so i'm going to select 4.7.1 okay so i believe version 12 of tosca do support dot uh, net framework 4.7.1 okay i'll show you uh, they have mentioned in their documents what framework uh, your SCT or custom solution should be built on in order to work it uh, with Tosca 12. Okay, so each version have might, might have different .NET frameworks. Okay, so that's all. Uh, now I'll simply click on OK. It is creating project for me demo project and my solution name is again demo project first time it will take some time okay so uh, my project is created okay and on the right hand side you can see my solution okay so in the solution explorer you can see my solution is demo project okay and under demo project solution i have one project okay and under one project you can see different things like properties references app.config and your program.cs okay so this program.cs is your actual program actual uh, so dot cs as means your uh, dot c sharp okay so your c sharp file gets stored in dot cs extension like how your java code gets stored in dot java file so your c sharp code gets saved in dot cs extension okay so this program is nothing but your actual so here you will be writing your actual code okay so now what is this property and what are these references i'll be talking in some more time or maybe in some other videos okay for now i'll just give you a short uh, introduction about what and all we have on this left side as well okay so uh, coming from start okay so you see something like using system using system dot collection okay so all these are imports okay all so, so you see something called a system or system dot collection so all these are the uh, namespaces okay so your system is some namespace okay so what is namespace now your namespace is uh, you can call it as a just a collection of uh, classes let us or it, it is just equivalent to your package in java okay so what is your package in java package is nothing but it is just a collection of various classes within it okay likewise uh, in dot net as well in c sharp as well i will be having multiple classes and the collection of some classes collection of few classes or many classes whatever it is based on the uh, uh, its uh, structure or however it is uh, the classes are grouped together under some namespace okay so under this system namespace okay so system is namespace and this collection here is again namespace this generic generic uh, okay it is a complete namespace okay so this system is a namespace okay so we are importing so this using is nothing but just you are importing okay so you are using importing this system namespace okay and why you want to import it okay let us see okay uh, I'll, I'll show you why you want to import before that uh, here my namespace is demo project that's what i have created and under this demo project namespace i have one class whose name is program okay and under this class i have one method which is my main method right static void main so this main indicates it is a main method okay and this main method uh, the content of main method should be within this curly braces okay here it should be so whatever i write in this main method it will get executed okay and this main method resides within a class class reside within a namespace so within a class i can have many number of methods but only one main method within a namespace i can have any number of classes now 
this is just a, a short structure we we may have many things into the programs like your variables constructors uh, and a few other things okay we, we will talk about that as and when it comes to the picture now let us let us have just one print message okay so uh, like how we have system dot out dot print ln in java likewise we have something called as console okay so uh, see if you just start typing so if you just know something in short like i just know console c o n s yes, okay so you you may get a lot of suggestions over here right like uh, console key console so whatever so i'll just search for console so here it is console okay and what is this console console is nothing but your class so here you can find class system dot console okay so from where this console is coming this console is coming from namespace system okay so okay this c should be capital console dot now what i want to do is i want to write line okay i want to print something so print in c sharp is achieved by using console dot write line and from where this console is coming it is coming from system namespace okay system is a namespace from this system namespace console is the class okay so that's the reason i am using this system over here using system that means i am importing the system okay let us say i am not importing this using system over here then you should get error over here right it is saying the name console does not exist in the current context right because i have not imported system okay the other other alternative could be i can write something like this system dot console dot write line it will work right now i am not getting any error right but writing system over here doesn't sound good right because wherever i am using this console then at all the places i may need to write this system right instead of that i am just importing it once using system it will work everywhere right within the namespace right so console dot write line and here you can if you hover the mouse it it, it gives you the description write the current line uh terminator to the standard output stream okay so uh right line i want to write something and what i want to write okay so as soon as you uh, type the brace you can see there are some overloaded methods and you can see there are 19 overloaded methods okay so how to use this overloaded methods what are overloaded methods i'll talk in a uh, few more videos not now okay so now what i want to do is i just want to print some message okay so i'll just write some message print this message okay so that's it so this console dot write line what it will do is it will open your console and it will print this message on console okay i'll just save this program i have saved it and i can execute it okay so on the top you can find something called a start okay so if you click on start your execution will start and something is happening over here okay so you can see the dot exe is dot got created okay and you can see uh okay you must have noticed the message got printed okay or to read the message what i will do is i will just read something console dot read line okay so what will happen is uh it will just wait for user message okay so i'll just run it now okay so can you see the message print this message okay so that's how so whatever i i wanted to write on console using write line the message got printed okay and now what is happening is it is waiting for read line okay because now what next is read line console dot read line so whatever i will enter from here 
th that particular contain uh, like uh, visual studio will read that contain and it will store it somewhere okay now let us say i'll write something this is okay that's it execution is done okay because what this read read line will do read line reads the next line of the characters from the standard input stream and its return type is string okay so what that mean is i should store it into some string okay string str is equal to this okay now what will happen is whatever i will enter into the console it will get printed into str okay uh, sorry saved into str which can be uh, used for your uh, like whatever you want to do with that fine so this is how you can create your program in c sharp okay so in coming few videos i'll be talking about what are the data types what are the variables what are the loops switch case and all other things okay so most of the things like your loops your uh, switch case um, your variables uh, data types like many things are same in most of the programming languages okay just small differences in their syntaxes here and there okay so uh, okay so that's it about this video thank you